Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to do the full side by side comparison and camera test of the LG G4 versus the iPhone 6s now um, let's just start off this comparison uh, from the display uh, by the way the G4 is my main phone that I use um, my main sim card and all that you know uh, it's my main phone currently so um, for a number of reasons and yeah let's just start with this test uh, comparison here so starting off from uh, the display uh, which is 5.5 uh, inch over here this is 5.5 inch quad HD resolution uh, while on the other hand iPhone 6 has has this um, 4.7 inch screen which is having a resolution of 750 by 1334 pixels so let me just take a closer look here so as you can see um, the the resolution and the, the pixel PPI uh, which is 326 they are enough for um, all sorts of being pleasures and all that but of course if we are doing a competition uh, with other phones if we are comparing it uh, with smartphones like the uh, the G4 then definitely it's not enough so G4 definitely had this uh, uh, quad HD display which is a lot more feature proof and yeah uh, iPhone 6s uh, some people will say that it's not like a real competitor to the G4 because of course we had the iPhone 6s plus uh, with the, the um, with 5.5 inch screen size and 1080p HD resolution but yeah you have to pay a lot of money with uh, for that phone and that one also has 5.5 inch screen but still still the uh, iPhone 6s plus doesn't have uh, the resolution uh, as equal to the G4 which is again quad HD so that's pretty awesome yeah uh, this is a really really awesome display and you know people are really happy uh, about uh, what LG has done with this uh, display so yeah that's that and of course uh, we have Gorilla Gloss 3 here this is also a scratch uh, resistant gloss so what's uh, good with the iPhone 6s here is that it comes with a new uh, 3d touch so I'm just gonna show you here that if I hold the camera it shows me these shortcuts here uh, same things are implemented in the Safari uh, you also see some stuff in the mail and also in this music application uh, notes and you know surfing the web is just a, a next way level of interacting with your device and um, and the best part is that there are a lot of third-party applications uh, in the place uh, app store sorry so in the app store that will take advantage of this new technology so yeah we might see it um, on Android phones in the future so um, that's uh, something good here with the iPhone 6s and the 6s plus um, also let's just talk about here uh, move towards the design now um, as you can see here iPhone 6s from the looks of course uh, it looks a lot more premium here I mean this is leather but it's not cheap or anything like that but it's not as much up to the level as compared to the iPhone 6s this is a really really nice aluminum body full aluminum and it feels really great in hand especially this uh, 4.7 inch screen model this fits really nicely in hand and um, and also uh, but that doesn't mean that it is uh, durable uh, you will going to face some scratches so it is recommended that you should use some skin or any case or anything like that but uh, yeah that's that it is a lot more uh, uh, looks a lot more premium uh, than the LG G4 which has this uh, leather back and um, and also uh, the G4 has a pretty different um, design here as compared to other phones it has this uh, uh, volume rocker and the power button on the back so that's something that you will not see on any other phone and and it is pretty awesome because you know I was a Samsung user and of course I was using the iPhone back when I had the iPhone 5 so uh, my first LG phone was LG Optimus 4X HD so now I'm back with the LG so and they have changed a lot this back button definitely is a really change you know when you use this phone it is just a it's just a completely new thing you know power button is on the back volume rocker is not back you don't need to uh, reach your fingers out uh, to this part so yeah that's that's something a little bit more convenient than you know doing this so uh, you have to use uh, different I mean these fingers and these fingers also uh, for uh, your thumb and these fingers to reach the power and the volume rocker stuff uh, but yeah both have their own good sweet taste 
this just come to that perfect personal preference but in terms of the looks and all that yeah the 6s has the upper hand and you can also kind of see how they are uh, it looks to be pretty much um, similar in terms of thickness uh, LDG form might be a little bit more thicker but that's that also iPhone 6s has this uh, really nice fingerprint reader uh, you can see it is really fast uh, you can't even look at the lock screen I mean this is one of the best improvement with this year's iPhone while we don't get any fingerprint reader yet with the G4 we might see it uh, in the future so uh, as you can see uh, it is, doesn't have that so it's just normal um, lock screen so I'm just gonna uh, quickly unlock the phone and show you the uh, quick comparison of the UI so this is Android this is iOS this is iOS 9.1 uh, fresh I haven't jailbreak it I also did a comparison in terms of speed so you might want to check that video out link will be down below uh, in the description box so on the other hand this is the skinned Android it's not pure this is skin Android with LG's own optimization and tweaks and everything uh, what I have seen is that people are complaining that it is it's, it's becoming slow and all that. It, yeah, it does feel slightly slow uh, sometimes, but you can see that it's not bad at all uh, as compared to uh, previous Samsung phones. And um, and I have a lot of data here. Uh, that's I mean a lot of applications are installed, but I'm still pretty much satisfied with it, and it's still going on. And it doesn't have the best chipset to offer for from Qualcomm. So uh, in terms of chipset wise, we got Qualcomm uh, Qualcomm 808 here uh, on the G4 versus Apple A9. A9 is definitely has the upper hand in terms of benchmarks. When I did that video, so I highly recommend that you check check out the speed test. That will going to answer a lot of your questions. I did the benchmark and I also did a real life speed test so yeah iPhone 6s scores better in terms of benchmark and it is better in terms of real life test we might see optimization a little bit more better from LG uh, when the marshmallow will be rolled out but currently I think like it it can be a little bit more better so Snapdragon 808 definitely not the best chipset for performance but it is not bad at all you can play games without any lag and on this beautiful display uh, so yeah uh, we got three gigs of RAM here versus two gigs of RAM uh, which is like two gigs of RAM are really really good with the new iPhone cause we will see uh, more uh, more you know heavy things with the iOS 10 so definitely two gigabyte of RAM is a bit more future-proof as compared to one gigabyte of RAM that is on the iPhone 6 I might see three gigabyte with the uh, iPhone 7 who knows so uh, let's move towards uh, the um, the back here, the the camera. So um, this is like a really tough competition, you know. LG4 is my main phone. I use this camera a lot. Um, to be honest, first of all, the front camera quality is on the G4 is a lot more, a lot more better. What I have noticed um, uh, than the Samsung phones, and as compared to the iPhone 6s, is also in most of the conditions it just performs a little bit more better. So it has 8 megapixel sensor on the front. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly uh, do a side by side comparison of the camera UI. So here we go so this is how the front camera looks like I'm just gonna uh, quickly switch to the back camera so uh, this is 16 megapixel takes on 12 megapixel on the iPhone 6s uh, more megapixel here but this one has like a better optimization with the sensor and all that where you can have like uh, better um, uh, low light condition performance more light in low light conditions but no optical image stabilization which is only restricted to the iPhone 6s plus whereas the G4 does have that and also it also has this uh, pretty nice laser autofocus uh, which does help is uh, uh, to focus a little bit more better on objects and um, you know not on all the depth field and all that things are kind of improved with the, this new um, autofocus little auto, laser autofocus system so I've see, seen this um, system being implemented on the OnePlus 2 uh, that phone was really nice and all that so yeah the UI wise the iPhone 6s has a really nice uh, straightforward camera UI even if you don't know how to use an iPhone you can still go ahead and use it without any problem while the G4 can be a little bit more confusing but it has this one mode that is pretty awesome which is called as I'm just gonna show you here called as manual mode now in manual mode you got full control over your phone you can change ISO exposure I mean if you are into camera and all that stuff 
this this mode is definitely for you guys to test out everything so i'm just gonna have it on auto uh, but if you don't really want auto then you can have it on simple so i will recommend that you should have it on auto so both can record up to 4k uh, and uh, also 1080p is also the option available with both front and back camera so let's just take a look here at the sample footage and photos <laughs> really impressed by the low light performance of the iPhone 6s I've also mentioned this in my other comparison videos so uh, well the G4 over here uh, is still good but I think like it has a little bit down performance as compared to the 6s in terms of low light conditions uh, but yeah it is a great phone I mean if you spend money on both of these two phones I mean if you buy the iPhone 6s or the G4 whatever phone you will get you will see awesome camera performance that is the thing uh, that is I can confirm and I can I can clearly say that camera performance is a lot better on both of these two phones as compared to a lot more phones um, that are currently available. Uh, so uh, some things better with the 6S, some things better with the G4. So uh, also if we uh, talk about the price, so this one is still uh, coming at 47,000 PKR, which is around like $470, somewhere it is costing less. But if you are outside, you can even get the G4 for about $388. Um, I'm, I'm still not confirmed about the price outside, but I think like T-Mobile some, some, something is offering this one. Uh, someone is offering this one at a, at a pretty cheap price. Uh, might be around you know less than four hundred dollar but as compared to the iPhone 6s so uh, in the price of iPhone 6s I can buy almost almost I can buy two LDG 4s so that's pretty insane cuz I mean it does have some really nice cool stuff but uh, I think like uh, it is really priced higher currently at the moment so yeah that's that uh, so it is it will cost me around eight hundred dollars it is coming at eighty thousand rupees the base 16 gigabyte model and i almost almost forgot to mention that the g4 comes uh, with a removable back wow that is thing how can i forget this hike i mean <laughs> wow i mean i'm just gonna show you and stop talking so okay we're gonna have it like this so uh, it has this removable back you can remove the battery you can insert any any other spare battery you can also insert a micro SD card up there to increase its uh, you know memory so the this model that I have has a 32 gigabyte of internal storage so with 32 gigabyte of internal storage and the memory card I have a lot of storage so I don't have any problem in terms of you know storing my pictures and installing applications and all that I have plenty of storage while the 6s that I have here okay don't be ashamed so the 6s that I have is coming with 16 gigabyte of um, uh, internal memory that's the base model so that is pretty low yes people that is pretty low if you are planning to you know take advantage of that 4k recording if you are if you are going to install a lot of applications then you will face problems you will run out of storage so yeah that's pretty bad because they should have to place like 32 gigabyte of base model so I mean that's just marketing tricks but anyways storage is a big 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 problem with the iPhone 6s and lastly if I compare them in terms of the battery so LG G4 has, has a 3000 something milliamp hour battery which is way bigger than this 1817 milliamp hour of the battery but 6s has a 4.7 screen a lot more uh, the lower resolution as compared to this phone has but still I can say that iPhone success is not better in terms of battery 
uh, currently based on my usage what I have seen on both phones they are performing almost equal G4 is slightly better but still they are not giving me a one day plus usage I mostly watch YouTube videos and uh, play music and use internet I don't do gaming very slightly gaming so currently I do play some PlayStation 1 games that I might make a video on this one in the future but yeah uh, I just play some games and do other stuff but yeah that's that uh, battery is not that much of satisfying on both of these two phones uh, but in comparison G4 is slightly better uh, so yeah, that's that. That's my, my full comparison. That's my full thoughts on both of these two devices. I will continue to use the G4 as my main phone currently. Um, maybe I will switch to other phones. Uh, maybe HTC One A9 because I'm really looking forward to that, with that phone this week. Uh, I will try to order the red color. So if that one will be available, that will be awesome. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any future content. If you have any questions, any specific videos that you want to see, make sure you comment down below. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.